The fashion industry is a major water consumer. Huge quantities of fresh water are used for the dyeing process for all of our clothes. 20% of industrial water pollution comes from textile treatment and dyeing. This is because chemicals are the main component in our clothes, and 90% of wastewater runs into rivers without any kind of filtration. Solutions to this problem of ethics, environmentalism, and sustainability in fashion can be found in the science behind structural colors. Structural colors are colors that are created by an interference with light through thin films that reflect different colors based on one's viewing angle, or refractive dispersion, which is how much light is bent when penetrating a material. Structural colors are seen in nature through bird wings, which through alternating melanin and keratin layers are their wings able to reflect light in beautiful patterns. To mimic this kind of coloration in textiles, begins with alternating layers of fabric and changing fabric content, structure, density, and thickness while I test the range of colors that can be seen. My inspiration was a vibrant color of peacock feathers. Peacock feathers are actually pigmented brown, but the cellular structure of their feathers makes them reflect turquoise, green, and blue light. This is done by pigment particles that are embedded into the new feathers during the molting season. They absorb light of certain wavelengths or disperse the reflected light and create differently colored feathers. The issue of water pollution with textile dye is important within the fashion industry because in 2017, a report by the Alan MacArthur Foundation on redesigning fashion's future found that if the global fashion industry continues on its current growth path, it could use more than a quarter of the world's annual carbon budget by 2050. Giving people more sustainable clothing options will help environmental issues and create a better business because sustainability is becoming increasingly important to Gen Z consumers who are willing to spend as much as 10 to 15% more on sustainably produced clothing, according to a recent study published by the NDP Group. Another study done in 2018 by Do Something Strategic, a social impact consultancy, found that 40% of Generation Z shoppers have stopped purchasing from brands that behave in a way that didn't align with their values, while another 49% would consider doing so in the future. Gen Z will account for 40% of all consumers by 2020, and they, along with millennials, will finally force the fashion industry to take sustainability more seriously.